Boris Happy is a clam rebuild UK's fishing communities with £75 million funding leave VDL in tears. Fishing communities across the UK are set to benefit from £75 million of government investment to spur the industry's post-Brexit growth. Ministers announced the extra cash last night to provide better local infrastructure around the country's harbours to mark the first anniversary of the UK's exit from the EU's single market this weekend. They aim to strengthen the fishing industry's ability to land more fish in the UK and take the produce to market faster. The taxpayer-funded investment has been earmarked for improving the capacity and efficiency of fishing harbours and processing facilities. Ministers say the move will boost the long-term sustainability of the fishing industry and support jobs while crews seize the increased opportunity opened up by the UK's departure from Brussels-run Commons fisheries policy. The initiative is seen in Whitehall as part of the government's drive to level up the UK by spreading investment to previously neglected parts of the country. A £65 million infrastructure fund will be made available for projects such including modernising ports and harbours alongside increasing capacity and efficiency at processing and aquaculture facilities. Officials at the Department for the Environment, Food and Rural Affairs will run a competition seeking to identify the best projects. Schemes that reduce carbon emissions, help increase the sustainability of the fishing industry and contribute towards the government's commitment to reach net zero in greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. Up to £10 million will also be used to encourage new entrants into the processing, catching and aquaculture sectors, alongside training and improving the skills of current workers in the industry. Environment Secretary George Eustace last night hailed the progress made by the UK fishing industry since the finalisation of the agreement governing the country's exit from the single market and common fisheries policy. Today, we are announcing a £65 million infrastructure scheme which will allow us to modernise ports and harbours and increase capacity and efficiency at processing facilities. A £10 million fund will encourage new entrants into the processing, catching and aquaculture sectors, and train and upskill those in the industry. We are committed to levelling up coastal communities across the UK, and this marks a period of rejuvenation for our fishing industry. Levelling up Secretary Michael Gove said, this multi-million pound investment will have a real and tangible impact on coastal communities across country and the UK fish industry. It will support the creation of jobs and training opportunities that will help put the industry on a sure footing for the future. We are working hard to boost local communities and spread opportunity to every corner of the country as we level up the nation. Secretary of State for Wales Simon Hart said, The UK government is committed to Wales's fishing industry and to ensuring its many coastal communities enjoy a sustainable, prosperous future. I encourage everyone in Wales eligible to apply for this funding to take up the opportunity to upskill their workforce, improve facilities, drive innovation and boost recruitment. Scotland Office Minister Malcolm Offord said, We want to guarantee our fishing industry has a bright future and today's allocation of funding is a great step forward. From upgrading ports and improving processing facilities to boosting training and encouraging recruitment, it all brings a massive boost for the industry. Our engagement with Scotland's fish and seafood sector is ongoing. We are listening to concerns and we are acting upon them for the benefit of business owners, workers and Scotland's wider coastal communities. This comes as the UK government also publishes its response to a consultation with industry on proposed changes, collectively known as the Economic Link. This will increase the percentage of fish that must be landed in the UK by English registered vessels following our departure from the EU, providing a boost to fishing companies and producers, further strengthening the UK economy. The changes apply to UK vessels fishing against English quota and will come into effect from 1 April 2022. These changes will provide a further boost to the fishing industry and the wider economy following our departure from the European Union. Funding to infrastructure will ensure the industry is equipped to fully benefit from these changes and support the levelling up of UK coastal villages, towns and cities, coastal villages, 